hello good morning i'm just doing some work right now but i have a few minutes to quickly chat so i wanted to share with you guys some new pieces that i got in from anna luisa mother's day is coming up real soon and actually my mom's birthday is may 3rd and mine's may 9th so we always have this great fun celebration together about her birthday my birthday and mother's day unfortunately this year she is still in asia so i will be celebrating with her virtually which means i gotta think of a great way to send her a gift this year instead of being able to give it to her in person you guys have heard me talk about anna luisa before but i'm a huge fan of their jewelry i pretty much never take off the earrings that i have from them they're great they're actually having a sale right now which is 15% off all of their products and it has already started so I wanted to show you guys some things that I picked out for myself as well as give you guys some ideas of um, gifts for your lovely mothers these are the cruise earrings I think they are absolutely beautiful they are like this little dangly um, star pendant so that is what that beautiful piece looks like I think my mom would really really love this piece actually she would love any of these pieces that I'm wearing right now because she is a huge fan of simple and dainty um, jewelry so this is absolutely perfect I'm in love I just think having that extra little dangly just really spices the earring up and I'm so obsessed with this I also love that these pieces can be dressed up dressed down they're just so versatile and I mean look at that look how adorable and beautiful they are these are actually Anna Louise's collaboration with Michelle Choi who is a vlogger here on YouTube these are the Dobby earrings so these are named after her dog Dobby and this is what they look like they're so stunning they are this beautiful gold hoop that have this stunning little green almost like jade looking like jewel at the bottom. I love that they have kind of more affordable options as well as some things that are a bit more on the fine jewelry side, but just look at that. I think that is so perfect. It really is such a perfect little earring. Again, I feel like the little dangle really just makes it so cute. I'm obsessed with that one as well. I think this would pair really well with a casual outfit. But yeah, again, I feel like you can dress it up if you would like to. The last piece I picked out is the Joe Gold necklace. This is just a stunning, like, simple gold chain in 14 karat gold plated gold chain you guys know i love my gold simple jewelry and i thought this was the perfect piece to layer with i love love any kind of like simple gold layering pieces so this is the perfect piece to layer plus it's just so dainty that i feel like you can wear it on its own it would be super cute as well and with a versatile piece like this it's just easier to buy as a gift because most likely the person that's receiving it will love it because it's just yeah it's just simple if you guys are looking to buy gifts from Anna Luisa for your mothers for your loved ones before May 9th the last day that you should order is May 5th if you're in the States and May 3rd if you're international to guarantee that it will arrive on time you should also not feel guilty if you want to just buy some pieces for yourself during this sale because Anna Luisa is a great sustainable sustainable company that offsets 100% of their carbon emissions related to their entire product life cycle. They also have super super fair prices so jewelry starts at $39 and then again goes up if you're going in more to the fine jewelry pieces, the gold pieces, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and put my link in the description box below so if you guys want to go check them out please go and visit that link and yeah just get yourself something nice. Hello, hello. I have a very exciting unboxing I want to do with you guys today. Here it is. This is very, very, very exciting. I've been wanting this for a while, ever since my friend Janice showed me hers. It's such a cool product, but if you guys are wondering what the commotion is all about, I am now the proud new owner of I know you can't tell what it's what's in here, but I'm now the proud new owner of, if I can open it, 
<clears throat> I dig my rays. I'm so excited about this. So actually, my friends are chipping in to get me this um, as a part or as my birthday gift for this year. I'm turning 26 in May. It's in about, I don't know, two or three weeks. And yeah, this is what I, I have asked for for my birthday this year. It's so stunning. But before I go in and try to set everything up and take you guys through that process with me, I'm gonna wash my hands because I just had some ramen and I don't wanna get my greasy ramen hands on this new keyboard, so beer back. So I have here the Ray's Enhancement Kit. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Oh yes, oh my God, I wanted to play with this. Okay, so. Inside of here, they have a bunch of O-rings. Use them to dampen the sound your keycaps make and to shorten the total travel of your switches. Place them in the keycap stem. Mechanical switches, so there's a bunch of different mechanical switches. There's a puller as well. And some cleaning cloth. So I wanted to test out these switches. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which one I got yet, but here are the switches. So there are a total of eight switches that you can choose from. There is the Kale Speed Silver, the Kale Speed Copper, and the Kale Speed Bronze. Then there's the Cherry MX Red, Cherry MX Brown, and Cherry MX Blue. And then there's the Kale Silent Pink and the Kale Silent Brown. So I do not have an exterior mic plugged into my camera, but here's generally what they sound like. Okay, Linear, Kale Speed Silver, Tactile, Kale Speed Copper. Okay, clicky, kale speed bronze. Okay, cherry MX red, linear. Tactile cherry MX brown. Okay, cherry MX blue, which is the clicky. Kale Silent Pink. Wow, that is pretty silent. Kale Silent Brown. I actually decided to give the Kale Speed Bronze a try. These clicky ones. So, here is my first test of how I like this keyboard. So. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm dying. Okay, we're gonna put it here. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, it's so nice. <gasps> I love it. I kind of love it, I'm not gonna lie. That sound versus oh okay I made a good decision I made a good decision I love that this is a white and silver palette because I won't lie that is something that I really love about my Apple keyboard is that the white and silver color palette is just so beautiful and as you can see my lamp oh you can't see my lamp is white, um, my Blue Yeti mic is silver, um, I do have these black headphones, but my Bose headphones and headphone stand is white, and typically, and typically I do like this cleaner white and silver aesthetic. I mean, my Logi mouse is black, but that can't be helped. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm so sad to even think that dust is gonna get all over this keyboard, but another great thing is you're gonna be able to see the dust less, um, unlike this black keyboard here, which you guys can, I don't know if you can see actually, but it got so dusty so fast and it's very, very noticeable, whereas I feel like on this keyboard, or even on my Mac keyboard. I know that it's probably dusty, but it's really quite hard to tell.
<laughs> my brain is like, what is going on? Okay, so I've set up all my base core and all of that. And yeah, I've noticed that, I've been doing a few like typing tests, and I noticed that the issue that I have is that I uh, think I used to type the Y with my left hand, but the, I guess, correct way is that you're supposed to type the Y with your right hand. And that is something that I'm gonna need to have to get used to now. But here are some of my configurations. These are the colors I chose. I totally copied um, this YouTuber slash Janice. They have these like cute pink and blue and orange colors. Um, and then this is my gaming like layout, I guess, because I have my WASD um, and then my arrow keys here for Maple Story. So yeah, everything else is the same. And then if I hold this, this just gives me quick access to my arrow keys and a number um what is it called a number pad a numpad number pad here if i need to but yeah just mainly this is just going to be like my quick when i need to nudge things and then this is my gaming mode um and then this key is my led next so it just kind of goes through the different led modes that it offers which i don't really really care about actually um, I mainly, I feel like I'm not gonna switch it from my main mode, if anything, I would switch it off in some instances, I guess. Definitely looking forward to seeing how I can further customize the keyboard to make my workflow a little bit more efficient and how I can actually use the, uh, four, or no, eight key spacebar for more efficient work. Um, they actually set their backspace and enter at the bottom rows. I don't know if that's something that I am going to do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. out this new design me quickie me dry shampoo foam so you just have to take like <laughs> like that much all, all size rub it in your hands and then just take it through your hair and just keep running it through your roots and hair until it has dried and sucked up all the oil this is definitely one of the most interesting ways to apply dry shampoo that I've tried, but it works and I really like their products. Mm, it smells so nice. Okay. Anywho, that is what it looks like after, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it up.
I got some extra batteries for my camera because it's constantly running out. Like the vlog camera that I'm filming on right now. So I just bought some like third party batteries. And then the more exciting thing is I got this metal like vertical laptop stand for some additional organization on my desk. Spin, yes, down, good girl, sit, sit, good girl, pop, okay, pop, yes, spin, Mika, spin, yes, pop, yes, spin, down, good girl, yes, pop. Okay, good girl. I feel like I haven't been doing a lot of super fun um, unboxing lately. So I have one today that I'm super excited to share. Go ahead and open it. Excuse my scrub look, by the way. I'm like literally in the middle of my work day, but I just got this package and I was so excited to share it with you guys. But this is from Sakura Co. Sakura Co. This is actually a Japanese high tea box. They do an awesome subscription box where you get to try out a lot of delicious Japanese treats. And since I'm probably not gonna be traveling there until 2022, I thought this was the perfect way to kind of get excited about the journey and the trip when it finally happens and COVID's over by trying out some Japanese goodies. So this is what the box looks like. It's absolutely stunning. When you open it up inside, oh, it's so cute. It says, nice to meet you, let's have tea. All the best things are shared. Post and tag, Sakura Co. We are Sakura Co. Okay, before I open it, I'm gonna just quickly pick a pic for Instagram because it's so, so cute. Okay, so these are the things that get included in the box. The first is a little postcard and it says, Greetings from Blossoming Tokyo. I wanted to personally thank all of our Sakura Co family from the bottom of my heart for all the support and kind words we've received since we launched last month. This month we're inspired by matcha, love, fave, already in love with this box. Particularly in spring, there are a variety of matcha treats that Japanese people always look forward to enjoying and we wanted to share them with you. We've put together a box filled with rich and indulgent matcha sweets alongside some of our fa seasonal favorites to give you a true taste of spring in Japan. Wishing you a wonderful snacking experience. Love, Ayumi Chikamoto. So I'm guessing Ayumi is the founder. Matcha moment. Oh my god, get extra goodies. Cool. So cute. We'd love to hear your opinion on this month's box. Hi, happy spring. So it even comes with like a pamphlet. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm guessing this goes over all of the different treats and companies that get included in this box. Holy crap, you guys, the amount of like effort that went into this like this is a full-on like they laid it out beautifully magazine style the imagery is stunning everything looks amazing okay 
So this is what the box looks like beneath the pamphlet. So I have Sakura Carinto. So these little like Sakura cookie snacks. I have some, I'm guessing these are like Sakura plum snacks here. I have some Sakura tea or plum tea. There is a matcha cookie. This is a little, ooh, it's like a little um pastry. Super, super cute. There's actually two of everything, so I'm gonna definitely get Michelle to try these out with me. There's a little matcha cookie. Oh, drop the other matcha cookie. There's another little matcha sponge cake pastry. There is a little sakura, like it looks like a little Turkish delight treat. There's two of those, there's two of the pastries. We've got another pastry here. Um, matcha jello, that looks so good. I can't wait to try that. Um, some more pastries. These look so exciting, matcha waffles. So cute. Another cookie. And then also, Japan Meg. There's like a little box. Oh, it has a little cup inside. Oh my gosh. That is just adorable. For tea. Love that. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Zakurko. I can't wait to try these out throughout the day and the rest of the week. I'm not gonna try to devour it all right now. So I also wanna make sure that I'm sharing these treats. So as soon as Michelle is up, I'm gonna share these with her and we can try a few out together. I love getting little treat boxes. This is amazing. If you guys are interested in getting your own subscription, even just doing like one month or something, I will put the link in the description box below. They're actually also doing a giveaway this month, so if you guys want to enter for the chance to win one of 10 boxes that they're giving away, I have the link in the description box. But yeah, if you guys have been curious about Japanese culture or just love snacks like I do, Highly, highly recommend them. This is like probably one of the cutest subscription boxes I have ever received. I have brought treats and a camera. Come, try no. these treats. No, no, no. <laughs> Come, try these treats. I have Japanese treats. No, no, no. All right, we're trying the treats by myself. Um, I don't know. To try this one matcha mochi manaka so this is by besho confectionery in nagano inside this crispy monaka wafer you'll find an elegant matcha and azuki paste providing a balance between bitter and sweet the added mochi also contributes an amazing contrast of textures so this is what it looks like super cute it kind of looks almost like a little macaron but the outside is like a wafery consistency the cookie. Mm. This is delectable. Holy shit. Oh my god. Mmm. I think azuki is like a type of um, bean, but this kind of reminds me of some of my favorite Asian red bean treats. But instead of red bean, it's this, I guess, other type of bean paste um, with a, like it's like matcha infused essentially. And then the outside is like the thinnest, most airy little wafer. So good. Oh my god, look at this. I'm getting the call. Okay, well that was amazing. I'm sad that I only had two of those. Next, I am going to try maybe these. 
They're like these little rice cracker type snacks. With seasonal and sweet Sakura Karito. Um, the clue is in the name. The slightly salty flavor of the Sakura mixed in with the sweetness of the cracker aims to recreate the flavor of Sakura Mochi, but with a lot of crunch. Very interesting. It smells so good. Kind of like cinnamony, actually. Okay. Mm, these taste like amazing, first of all. But these taste like some of these snacks that we have for Chinese New Year's. Um, oh my god. Okay, the best way to describe it is it kind of tastes like imagined a fried churro, but without the cinnamon sugar. So it's kind of like that fried doughy taste. And then it almost has like a berry jam flavor to it, but it's sakura. These are so good. Wow. It's really, it's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. Which are my favorite types of snacks. And then of course the crunch is so addicting. Okay, wow. I'm obsessed. If you can find these somewhere, go and get them. And if not, order their subscription box, because this is amazing.